Hello Deutschland, wir sind Jurt Rosenfeld. And this is our fifth book in the series about Sebastian Bergman and his team, Die Menschen, die es nicht verdienen. And we really, really enjoyed writing this one. So we hope you really enjoy reading it. We surely do. Hey! <laughs> Willkommna! Willkommna gerne! Bitte hier in die Mitte setzen! <laughs> Die Menschen, die es nicht verdienen, we, um, Sebastian Bergman and his team is up against um, somebody who uh, tests uh, docu-soap stars, um, giving them 60 questions, and if they don't have enough right answers, he kills them and puts them in a school where they were supposed to learn all these things. Um, it's, um, yeah, it's, a, it's, a, it's up against a killer that has um, a problem, problem with the with the new society, with with the, the times uh, that we are living. We on purpose did a lot of research on social media because we thought it was an interesting area to you know use as a basis of a case. And the killer uses social media and targets people that uses social media a lot. I don't think this story has changed our opinion uh, about social media. I think we're quite aware of what it is. What it is that it may be just um, reassured us in that we are monitored everywhere at any time. I, I also think it gave us um, once again an idea about how much information about ourselves we freely give away uh, that is being stored by companies, global companies all over the world. Ab sofort haben Sie 30 Sekunden. Mirre nahm das metallische Klicken der Stoppuhr kaum wahr. Wie lange sollte das Ganze dauern? Was hatte der Mann noch gleich gesagt? Er wollte 60 Fragen stellen. Die wievielte war das jetzt? Mirre hatte keine Ahnung. Es kam ihm so vor, als wären Sie schon eine Ewigkeit damit beschäftigt. Und er versuchte immer noch zu begreifen, was eigentlich passiert war. I think our dynamic when we work is is not like a good, bad cup, good cup. It's more like we have different qualities in in you know in writing, but we share the same colors, which means like we don't argue what the color of the red is. My red is his red, but we use this different strokes. I always say with our brushes, and I think the dynamic is usually you're a little more brutal. And I always like when it's brutal, and then I try to go character a little deeper, and then you, you know. So I think that's the dynamic between, you know, what can happen, what cannot happen. But it's not really a, a negative; it's a really good dynamic. Wie nennt man Wörter, die das Verhältnis zwischen Personen, Dingen und Orten beschreiben? So wie beispielsweise auf, zu, vor und in. Ich weiß nicht sagte Mirre und hörte, wie erschöpft seine Stimme klang. Sie haben noch zehn Sekunden Bedenkzeit. Ich weiß es nicht und ich habe keine Lust, Ihre bescheuerten Fragen zu beantworten. Einige Sekunden lang herrschte Stille. Dann folgte ein Klicken, als die Stoppuhr angehalten wurde. Und ein weiteres, als der Mann sie wieder auf Null stellte. The case in the fourth book uh, was very much uh was more centered around Sebastian. We wanted to see what happened to him if he had to commit emotionally into another person again. He, he hasn't done that since his family died. So what would happen if he opened up emotionally uh, to another, to a little girl, his daughter's age, Aprox. Uh, so that kind of softened him a little. Um, he didn't learn that very much though. Uh, that little girl is gone. Uh, the grief and the sadness and the, the kind of self-destructive uh, behavior is back. Uh, so, no, he didn't learn that much. Sorry. Wer von Ihnen hätte alle Fragen beantworten können? <laughs> is there anybody among you who could have answered all of those questions? Nobody. <laughs> we are at the moment planning on eight books, so Probably in the in the next one, we're going to start to kind of wrap things up, and we have an idea about that. But that would be a huge spoiler, and I think we keep that for ourselves a little longer. And and I also the, things might change as we start working. Yeah, yeah, it might. <laughs>